Hey everybody, Charles here. Welcome to Backroads Living. In today's video, we're going to uh, review the Farmer's Almanac for February 2021 and talk about planting by moon phases. So hang in there and we'll get right on into the video. Hi folks. We'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to uh, subscribe to our channel, like our video, click that bell icon when it comes up to be notified of our new videos as we upload them. Anything you do like that, interacting with our page is a great help to us. Uh, be sure to leave your comments, your thoughts on the video in the comment section below, uh, and uh, any questions that you might have, any stories you might want to tell. We're open to all that. We love hearing from each and every one of you. And again, don't forget to interact with the page because it really helps us uh, with YouTube. We want to talk about planting by the moon. Uh, you know, we've heard so many people talk about it over the years, and and uh, a lot of people say that it's uh, a thing that they go by every, every year. They they just strictly plant by the moon phases. Others say it's uh, it doesn't matter to them. They just plant seed whenever they get them and whenever the, the weather warms up enough to plant them. But, uh, you know, there's really no science to it as far as uh, scientific evidence that I know of. Most people plant by... Uh, moon phases, uh, the older people that have followed the Farmer's Almanac for years. My father uh, was a person that followed the Farmer's Almanac. He planted by the phases of the moon. Uh, we always had good gardens. My mother-in-law, she plants by the moon phases and by the Farmer's Almanac dates. And, uh, you know, she's typically always had uh, good gardens. I, I there's really no foolproof thing saying that this works or it doesn't work other than the fact that uh, folks who follow this seems to uh, have really good yields in their garden. So outside of scientific evidence, I guess we'd have to say that the, uh, the proof's kind of in the pudding. So if you, if you do this and, and you have good yields and it works for you year after year, then I would suggest just to continue to do that. Uh, if not, and you don't have time or stresses you out to fool with it, then I'd say just ignore it and keep doing what you're doing. And uh, if you have good yields, then you know as the darlings used to tell Andy Griffith, more power to you. So that's you know that's that's our take on that. We're going to be planting by the moon this year, and uh, we're coming in. We're actually into February right now, and uh, we're going to be getting our garden gardens ready to go, and we're going to go over February's planting signs here in just a few minutes. But I wanted to talk about uh, moon phases first, just a little bit. Um, before we get into that, uh, the theory behind planting by the moon is that the cycles of the moon have influenced gardeners all over the world for centuries. While science doesn't fully understand why planting by the moon works, experience suggests that it might, or at least that it might be worth trying. So this is something that we need to, you know, we kind of take it to heart a little bit, I think, and look into it. If it helps us get a better crop, then why wouldn't we want to do that? You know, if it if our tomatoes grow better by doing this, then let's try it, is what I say. Uh, most folks who uh, garden by, uh, from what I've seen and read from, from moon phases, is most of them will tell you don't plant in the dark of the moon. Uh, this is the new moon, and this is the time when plants should rest is what they're saying and it's a good time to kill weeds because they will not grow back according to uh, the folks who follow the moon phases so in the new moon um, is a good time to uh, to do your weeding and killing you know killing back the weeds and things like that on the, the dark of the moon uh, so we're going to look at some of these tips right here that uh, folks have laid out here that that do some moon planting and we're going to talk about them in just a second uh, during a waxing moon uh, it says here the light increases toward a full moon. This is a great time for sowing and transplanting flowers, uh, annuals, biannuals, grains, and melons. Any short-lived uh, plant that you want to harvest for its leaves, seeds, flowers, or fruits. So this is in the, the waxing moon. And that's the moon that's uh, coming into the full moon from, uh, you know, uh, from the dark moon into the into a full moon, and then during a warning, a waning, W-A-N-I-N-G, waning moon, the light decreases as the moon goes from a full to a new moon. This is the time the energy focuses on the roots. 
which is a specific is a perfect time to plant root crops and perennials. So that's a good time to get your root crops in the ground in a waning moon. Uh, and it is also a good time to uh, to apply solid fertilizers, uh, compost. Uh, you can also uh, prune dormant plants and harvest. It's less likely that your harvest will rot if you uh, uh, harvest it at this time. And then the new moon uh, to the first quarter, from the new moon into the first quarter, is best for sowing or transplanting leafy annuals. And these plants are things such as lettuce, uh, spinach, uh, cabbage, and celery, where we value or eat the leaves or stems of these things. These are the kind of things to plant uh, from the new moon to the first quarter. Now the first quarter phase, it says, is most suited to fruiting annuals. Fruiting annuals, not fruit trees, where we value or eat the fruit of seed-bearing plant. Now these are things like tomatoes, pumpkins, broccoli, and beans. So we need to keep that in mind, the first quarter phase. The full moon itself is uh, from full moon to the third quarter is best for sowing or planting root crops, as well as fruiting perennials, things like apples, potatoes, asparagus, rhubarb, etc. things with roots in them or roots on them. You can also take cuttings and divide plants during this time. It's a good time from the full moon to the third quarter. In the last quarter phase of the moon, uh, it says avoid planting and focus on improving your soil. Weed, mulch, add compost and manure teas and create new garden beds. It's also a good time to weed and take care of pests. Uh, do not sow, plant, or prune 12 hours before or after the transition of one phase to the next. So there's quite a bit that goes on with these moons here. And uh, like I said, my father uh, planted according to the moon phases. My mother-in-law plants according to the moon phases. Uh, and then we find here that during a blue moon, now uh, for years and years and years, I didn't have a clue what a blue moon was. And every time somebody mentioned blue moon, I thought of Bill Monroe and blue moon over Kentucky. And uh, his singing that song, blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. You know, it just, that's what I had in my mind, but there is actually a thing called a blue moon. And uh, it's simply the occurrence of two full moons in one calendar month. And, uh, you know, plan as you would for any full moon during that full moon. It, it doesn't uh, change anything there as far as the planning of it. So scientists really don't have a handle on this thing. They don't really know how it works, but uh, they've never really... I don't think any of them's ever followed it to see because it's not a concern of theirs. But now we'll find out that uh, the early settlers, they planted by the moons, uh, they planted by the stars, they used all that stuff. They uh, they actually raised fences. They uh, they did all kinds of stuff, buddy. They, uh, they built things according to the moon. Uh, they cut timber according to the moon. Uh, just all, all kinds of stuff like that, according to the moon phases. And it, it's just amazing how much, uh, uh, how much influence, I guess is the word to use here, that the, uh, the moon has on people, in, not only in this country, but in foreign countries as well around the yeah, world. Of, uh, let's look into uh, February of 2021. Uh, this is uh, February, comes from the Latin word, uh, to smoke uh, since it was the Roman month for purification so this month this is the third day of February let's look into what we should be doing today uh, or this month rather not today but this month uh, it says the moon phases uh, you've got your fourth quarter your uh, on, or the last quarter on the fourth You've got your new moon on the 11th. You've got your first quarter on the 19th and your full moon on the 27th. And then we've got, uh, it says plant above ground crops, the 13th, 14th, 17th through 19th, and 22 through 24. Uh, plant root crops, the second and third. Tend hydroponics, the 13th, 14th, 22nd through 24th. 
and then control uh, pest the 6th, 7th, 10th, and 11th. Transplant on the 23rd and 24th. Uh, plant flowers on the 13th, 14th, and 17th through 19th. And then set eggs the 14th, 19th, and 24th. So we even have a, a time to, best time to set eggs according to a moon phase. So if you guys use these things, if you plant by the uh, Farmer's Almanac or use the new moon to plant by, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you'd like for us to update this each month at the first of the month, let us know in the comments below. We'd be glad to go back over each month with you at the first day of the month or thereabouts. Uh, and again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, share us with your friends on social media. That really helps us a great deal. I mean a great deal. And again, don't forget to click that bell icon when it comes up to be notified of new videos as we upload them. As always, we pray that you guys have a wonderful day and be blessed to the Lord. And until then, we'll see you in the next video.